should point out one of the things that makes this actually work is what the the mastermind pvc does in, in this case and if you plug into the, the the send jacks of the return and you leave the returns open nothing connected to them then effectively the loops become a, a splitter so whatever effects you have in loops one through three that resultant um, output then gets fed to send four send five send six and the output in parallel it kind of becomes a, a splitter whatever your prior effects identical copies of that get sent to the input of your three wet effects here as well as the main output the pvc here is, is splitting the signal then it's going in through all the effects and then the micro line mixer is is combining them back down again into one signal to go to your amp or amps that's one of the the key things of, of how this actually works and one thing that's also i should mention that's nice about this is because you're not returning the the effects back to the switcher then you get the the delay and, and reverb tail thing where where when you switch off say loop four you're no longer sending your signal to the delay but the output of the delay continues to go through the mixer and to your your amplifier you might not be getting any new delay generated any prior ones will be allowed to, to trail off without being cut off abruptly like it would be if you wired it in series mm. i have to admit that i'm i'm a little bit embarrassed here ron i am an rjm evangelist as are the other guys i had no idea that the 6x could be a splitter like this i i just assumed which was you know what they say about assuming and now i feel like i i am a bit of a donkey here because i i had no idea that you could actually send four five and six and presumably one two and three i'm not sure but definitely four five and six in parallel along with the output this is blowing my mind right now and it opens up so much and the reason i'm embarrassed is that this is a hardware thing and not a recent update so i was like oh you recently updated to allow parallel it's not that this presumably was like this from the beginning so this is this is a really good feature and i assume this would be the same on the megax as well correct yeah yeah all of our switchers do this and i have a somewhat similar story on that where our, our original switcher the rg16 which is a rack based switcher that we did in 2007 i just designed it and didn't even think about stuff like that and then a customer said hey i'm i'm using this and i use the sends of these loops and i'm using them to send to different amps and it's like you you did what <laughs> and i had to like pull out the schematics and actually look and it's like oh yeah i guess it does that i i had no <laughs> i had no oh idea gosh. originally it wasn't even an intentional thing and it was just an artifact of how the loops were designed that it actually did that it was much to my surprise but it's like it, but it's, it's such a, you know, an amazingly useful feature that we kept it in and, you know, every switcher we've, we've ever made does the same exact things. It's, it's, yeah, it's too useful to not have. I was like looking at it, seeing all the sends on the, like you're sending it to the units, then to the mixer. And I was super confused by it because I was like, wait, is this, did you not know like, either? I didn't know. And oh, so that's thank my, God. This, that makes me so feel like not less of an idiot. Well, it's because like I don't I don't get a lot of people asking like I have I'm looking at a 6x and I'm looking at the micro mixer and I'm I'm curious because like it's the same thing as if you plug in a pedal you know a send and return into a pedal but then like you don't plug you know the outputs of the pedal like does does how is it not like like usually like when you don't plug in the outputs the return back into the unit it mutes it right so because you're not getting signal back into the unit is there like a setting because i literally pulled up the editor while you guys are talking is there a setting in the editor um that um is there a setting in the editor that you have to do so it splits it or does it just automatically do it uh, that, that's just a mechanical feature of the of the jacks mm -hmm. it's basically a, a half normaled connection and so it's always going to do that um, if, you, if you want to implement a a mute in one of those jacks let's say you want to use a loop as a, a tuner and you want to connect a tuner but you want it to it to mute when you turn on the tuner you actually have to you know connect the loop send to the tuner input 
but you actually have to, to make a grounded quarter inch plug. We're actually just, you know, connecting the tip to tip to ground inside the, the plug and stick that in the return. And that will actually break the connection and, and it, you know, it won't mm -hmm. actually mute unless you do that. And so the, the jacks are actually just, you know, just do that by, by default. Okay. So, okay. So in the diagram, do you turning on loops four five and six? It sounds like a Star Wars movie. But loops four, five, and six, like sending those signals to those loops, loops one, two, and three won't go out those loops. They'll just go out through the master output, I'm assuming. Like looking looking at the diagram, I mean that it's it's something new, something that I haven't known has always been there. I'm like, you know, like kid in the candy store. Yeah, I'm kinda mm, geeking out yeah. by it now. I'm just like, oh my gosh, now I want to go and try this. But yeah, essentially, so like loops one, two, and three will just still go out the master output, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, wow. it, if there's nothing in the return jack, then the, the the following loop just gets whatever signal is coming from before it. So, so yeah, in that example, the resultant signal of whatever you got turned on from loops one through three, that's all going to work as expected. And then that end result is going to end up going out send four, send five, send six, and the the output and well the sends only if the those loops are, are turned on. It basically becomes a a switchable splitter, I guess. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's that that's kind of what makes the whole thing just work. 